I'm Tom Basso. Welcome to Week in Review, a video where we take a look at the week. The videos that we did and give you short snippets of each, and then if you want to see the full review, you click the link in the description below. Let's get started. Hey, hey, everybody. Z Garcia here. So last week I reviewed three games. I reviewed Little Songbirds, in English anyway, and then has a, a title in German here. I rate this a 6 out of 10. It's an interesting little card game. Uh, I don't think it... Uh, it has a, a decent amount of luck in it for how sort of strategic a lot of its aspects aspire to be. So I thought that was a little weird. There's some sort of take that aspects in it that break that vibe and feel for me. Overall, I liked it. You know, a, a six is not a bad score, but um, I, I felt it could have been a little stronger, a little more streamlined, maybe. I reviewed this one, Runica and the Six-Sided Spellbooks. I also rate this a 6 out of 10. This one is a dice drafting and then sort of manipulation game. It's very puzzly. It looks kind of like a kid's game, but I, I would say it's not. It's a lot more uh, brain burny than that. There's a lot going on in it. So um, this one, I guess the, the reason it gets that score for me is because of that mismatch between the... The theme and kind of what's actually going on in the game, the way it feels and the way it looks. And because it's a really kind of slow game, I really wouldn't want to play with more than two. A lot of downtime, a lot of uh, waiting around for somebody else to puzzle out what they intend to do, that sort of thing. And then lastly, I reviewed uh, Deckscape, The Mystery of El Dorado. And this is the latest in the Deckscape line that I've reviewed anyway. I think it is the newest one. And it's one of my favorites. I rate this a 7.5 out of 10. This one's a good one. It, it gives you a nice uh, story. It's uh, well paced out. I like the setting. I like the artwork, the way it's done. I like these Deckscape games for the most part overall, but some of them can be a little hit or miss. Uh, and this one is, for the most part, pretty good. There's still a couple of puzzles I thought were not great and kind of uh, just lame, get in the way kind of puzzles. But overall, it had a, uh, a nice format, and I like that it did some things that the original release in Dexcape did. That was one of my favorite things it did. I'm being kind of vague because I don't want to spoil anything, but you should check this one out. And that's it for me. I will see you on the next one. For me, first of all, Paradise Lost, which is a mix between Clue and Tokaido, and then has a bunch of other stuff. Bad coloring in it, bad... Just, it's an overly convoluted mess, unfortunately. Tajudo, which has really cool pagoda pieces, and at the end of the game, it's just a luck fest from Reiner Canizia. It looks really great, um, but at the end of the day, there's not a lot of game in the box. Narwhal, free for all. It's okay, it's for kids. You have the little narwhals floating around in water, and you get to shoot rings on them. I do pour water on a table in a review if you want to watch that. Ringmaster, this is a very, very, very light game from uh, the same folks who made Ascension, and it, but it's, it's kind of like a slow flux. It's okay. I don't dislike it, but you just kind of play, the game just kind of plays, and you sit there and watch it. Revolution of 1828, which is an interesting thing about the election uh, of 1828, and it's just this tug-of-war back-and-forth style thing. Nah, it's okay. 1942, and as I'm saying this okay a lot, there's another one from this company that makes a lot of these games with dates. This is a cooperative game that takes place over 30 minutes, like you time yourself for 30 minutes. But the game itself isn't necessarily rushed. It's just that you fly planes out, bomb a carrier, fly back. It's kind of the same thing over and over and over and eh. Uh, Top Gun. This one is almost good, right? It's... It's based on a fun theme. There's a volleyball phase in it, which is funny, ha, 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 but very boring. Then there's the airplane going around shooting each other. Not bad. It's just that there's a lot of other games that do this also. People are going to get this mostly because of the Top Gun name. Catacombs Cubes. All right, now let's start talking about games I do enjoy a lot. Catacombs Cubes, you take these different blocks and you're building them. A very nice kind of just free-flowing game. You're collecting them. You roll dice, draft the dice, collect the pieces, build them, and that's fun. Then Oceans. Oceans is the sequel to Evolution from North Star, except this one is in the ocean. Very similar, right? I'm, I, they ha I mean, there's a lot of differences between them. I like Oceans better because I like the variety of sea life and I like the variety of cards in the one deck. And the game is just a absolutely gorgeous production. But uh, yeah, I, I, I think I like this one better, Oceans. Clask for four players, also fun if you want to. Clask is already a great game. I actually like the two-player version better, but the four-player version allows you to um, 
uh, play it with four players. Coloma, great game here. Really enjoyed this one a lot. Uh, and in Coloma, we have, uh, you are in the wild, wild west to some degree, building up your towns, traveling around. It has a great simultaneous selection. You build this town, it gives you, it increases, it makes your actions better. Overall, just fantastic. And Dominations, my favorite game I played this week. Dominations, a civilization style game. Civilization, very light on the civilization. Doesn't play as, it plays pretty long with four players. Two and three is better, but so many options, so many cool things. It's a big engine building game that's a mix between dominoes, not sort of, and building a civilization. So that's the name Dominations, something I just figured out like last night. I don't know how I missed it before, but a fantastic game. I really enjoyed it. Me and Roy played versus each other a couple games, uh, including the new WWE Dice Masters. Uh, Liz, Mike, and Z talked about their top 10 solo games, and we played a playthrough of Lander. So all that stuff happened this past week, live board game breakfast and more. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and this has been Week in Review on the Dice Tower. <laughs>